We're in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina at Broadway at the Beach. We're going to take you on a tour around and show you what they have to offer and especially what's new. Hi, I'm Carmen. If you're new here and you enjoy Myrtle Beach videos, be sure to subscribe and click the bell so you won't miss anything new. As you can see, it is a beautiful day. It's a gorgeous day today and there are a lot of people out. Um, it's funny, we should be into the off season now. It does not feel like the off season. Uh, it feels like full on summer, but it's not anymore. Uh, but lots and lots of people here enjoying the beach and enjoying Broadway. I will say, if you're not familiar, the weather here does stay pretty stunning and relatively warm until at least mid-October and sometimes well beyond that. And the water temperature stays warm through October as well. Uh, I'm talking about the ocean temperature, so if you like to swim, it's a good time to come. Now this is actually a fairly new store here, this social coffee shop. Uh, this used to be a Starbucks, and it's no longer Starbucks, but at least a coffee shop took its place, so that's pretty cool. Let's go in and take a look. All right, it's actually a better layout in here than when it was Starbucks. When it was Starbucks, this was like really cramped up here at the front, but now they have this open space with some seating, and we've got a lot of nice treats in here. And then of course your typical coffee bar selections. Also fairly new here at Broadway at the Beach is Bird's Famous Cookies. Ooh, key lime coolers, that sounds good. Let's go in and take a look at this as well. Ooh, lots of treats. Ooh, cupcake cookies, that sounds good. So they have got a lot of cookies, as you would expect. <laughs> How to speak Southern. Also up here at the front, they've got some really, really fun cookies. I love this one with the Fruit Loops. Loopy nerds. These are all our baked goods. The top row is cereal scoops. And then we have four cookies and two brownies. Wow. And you can warm up the cookies and brownies and it'll make them ooey gooey in the center. Oh, nice. And they look so good. We also have this cute little truck up at the front and they have a you pick cookie box. That's really neat. And in case you couldn't hear her, she said you can mix any cookies on the truck and it's just $5.95 a box. That's really neat. We are down to Pavilion Central now. And again, different year this year. The rides are still going. A lot of times after they get to off season, the rides aren't always going. You've got Speed XXL going. That's the big tall ride in the back. You've got the Beast starting up. And that's a fun ride. A line for tickets. Lots of stuff going on. It looks like all the rides are running. <laughs> And here's some old favorites, the Fudgery and Sweet Carolinas is popular as well. I know a lot of you said you enjoy eating there. Uh, they have sort of, you know, traditional Carolina food like barbecue, uh, ribs, but they also have stuff like pizza. So, I mean, they've got all kinds of stuff. A lot of you have said Tiki Gems is one of your favorite gift shops. So let's go in and take a look there. brand new but new this year is this coastal gem mining um, where you can mine for different things they have you know different rocks and fossils that you can mine for it's pretty neat if you've been with us for a while you know that behind these walls there used to be other stuff but they are building this key west village and also a place called the hangout which is a big restaurant bar entertainment complex and what's exciting is they have finally gone vertical if you saw our last video where we were at broadway uh, we talked about how they were putting the foundation down and starting to build, but now they've actually gone vertical. So we're going to go around the corner here and give you a really good view of it. Uh, coming up here in just a second is a pretty good concept art for what the hangout's going to look like. So we can take a look at that right there, but let's go look at the construction. That's pretty exciting. 
All right, this is a pretty amazing amount of structural uh, building just since the last time we filmed. So this is pretty exciting. They're definitely working, I'd say pretty consistently on this. Uh, so that's exciting. So that's gonna be the hangout, we presume. And then I assume over here is where they're gonna have the Key West shops. I still find it funny how they have some of the remnants of Dragon's Lair Golf. We miss that. If you miss Dragon's Lair Golf, leave a comment below. Here, of course, is one of the other remnants of Dragon's Lair Golf, but also this gorgeous view of Broadway at the beach. This is what makes it so nice to walk around here. Got the speedboat rides going. And there are a lot of people here today enjoying Broadway at the beach. There's one of the speedboats taking off. They do a non-stop business. That seems like a popular attraction. And here's Ripley's Aquarium. Not too bad of a line to buy tickets today, but still a fair amount of people. Uh, this is actually one of Brian and I's favorite attractions, and we love the new penguin habitat. Also, several of you said you really like Krabby Jack's General Store for gifts, so let's take a look at that. to the Key West Grill. If you happen to know, leave us a comment below. Also, we just noticed that Rooster's Restaurant and Bar is closed. They have closed signs on the doors and we don't know if that's permanent or temporary, but I'm thinking it's permanent because they've taken down, they used to have all these mannequins that had jeans on. They've taken all that down. So I'm kind of thinking it's permanent. Let us know in the comments if you know more information. And again, we still haven't heard what's happening with Johnny Rocket's old building, but they're definitely doing something because they put construction walls up and they usually don't do that until they're ready to start doing something on the inside that they don't want you to see yet. Now we're to the Avenue District. We've got American Tap House, Wahlburgers, the Wonders Theater, which is right here, Dave & Buster's, Bar Louie, Crocodile Rocks, and of course, Hard Rock. Also very close to the Avenue District, you've got Charlie's, Senior Frogs, and of course Fat Tuesday. This is Landry's, they specialize in seafood, but they also have other food if you're not into seafood. And we've enjoyed eating there. We've eaten there a few times and we've actually been to the original one in New Orleans, which was also fantastic. There have been so many people doing the zip line today. We've seen it go by many, many times. There's another speedboat. Oh wow, and you can see Speed XXL and the beast going over there. Uh-oh, she looks kind of stuck over there, but they'll pull her in. <laughs> they do have swan boats for rent, and they also have these little circular um, that a lot of people can sit in, boats. There's one of them anchored over there, and someone's actually using the swan boats today. Here's a close-up view of that one that I was talking about that's motorized and has all the seats on it. Here's Wonderworks, and right behind it is Pavilion, I believe West, <laughs> directionally challenged today. And uh, the, we noticed today that the Ferris wheel is missing some cars. Let's take a look at that. So here we go with the Ferris wheel. As you can see, there's a few cars missing off of it, which is kind of interesting. I would assume they're doing maintenance. Not sure. Uh, that's definitely a fun ride. Uh, if you haven't ridden that, it's a lot of fun. We did a video on that, so I'll link to that in the description below. You can check that out, but it's, you, you can see for a long way. Not as far as the sky will, but it's a really good view. If you're enjoying this video, be sure to give it a like. We appreciate that. Also, we just ate at the Grumpy Monk, and we're going to have a video on that that will come out after this video. So if you're interested in seeing that in our full review, be sure to subscribe so that you won't miss that video when it comes out. They are definitely working on the old Liberty location because we saw them tear down the old beer garden. They have these walls up. So we're curious to see what comes here. If you know, leave it in the comments below. If you've enjoyed this video, be sure to click on the video on your screen right now and click subscribe so you won't miss anything new. Thanks so much for watching. Until our next adventure.